As we approach the first day of school, parents are spending more on clothes, food, and of course, those school supplies. WFMY News 2's Jalen Gilkey found out more about the anticipated spending. Well, according to Forbes, in the month of July, the average consumer price index rose a whopping 8.5%, causing concern amongst parents as they prepare to send their students back to school. And the number one area area parents are most concerned about are school supplies. According to a survey conducted by Deloitte Consulting, North Carolina parents are prepared to spend more than they've ever spent before. We're seeing a slight increase in overall anticipated spend in North Carolina, about 3% year over year. And most parents, despite a, a challenging economic outlook and some concerns on supply chain, parents plan to make the shopping event happen for their kids. And parents here in North Carolina are expecting to spend way more above the national average. We're seeing they plan to spend 17% more than the national average. So that's $773 per child. According to Bianic, one of the main factors that is contributing to these price increases are the need for new technology for the school year. Yeah, things are getting super, super pricey. I mean, I've heard parents talking about they're going to have to spend close to $1,000 because they have multiple kids in school. Well, me, thankfully, I don't have any kids, yes. so I'm not <laughs> preparing to spend that much money. But I don't recall when I was in school having to spend that much. But the iPads and the headphones mm -hmm. and all the digital textbooks and whatnot, I'm sure all of that contributes yeah, to this every, increase in spending. Things have definitely changed since when we were back in grade uh, school. This makes me want to walk right over here and just take a rest <laughs> right. because of all that money. And when you have multiple kids in there, you just have to multiply that by that number by as many, many kids as you have. And you so. had twins. Yes. yes. So you always had to buy for multiple <laughs> Two in children. college for four years Ooh. at the same time. My question <laughs> is for you, Eric, have you d gone back to school shopping already? And, oh boy, nope, you might be yet. off to a bad start, brother. <laughs> the second question for you is, are, do you have like money set aside for just specifically school supplies? Is that how that works? So that's what, since I have four kids and they're all in school at some level, mm -hmm. um, that's what we have to do. And we usually try to start that in like April. And we'll just put a little bit back here and there. And then by the time August 1st rolls around, you gotta be on it straight up. When you see that list, do you ever look at some of the supplies like, why do they need yes. this? Why do I need to buy 40 boxes of toilet tissue for the classroom. Well, and there are some organizations, and my wife knows this better than I do because she buys this, but there are kits that you okay. can order mm -hmm. that have a lot of it and they work with the school system so they have everything in there you need, but there, inevitably there's something not in there that you should have gotten, but that gets you a good start. I remember the most expensive thing that we would need as kids, uh, the TI-83 calculator. Yes. <laughs> yes. That was yes. it. That was it. The graphing calculator, and then you <laughs> were really about cool a, if you about had the most advanced one. Right, but about $105, dollars, and then you, maybe you spend another 200 Call it a day. And I yeah. still have mine at home. I had a, the TI and then I went to one school where we had to get a Casio. That's what it was oh. called. Oh, Casio, So my yeah. parents had to buy another graphing calculator. They're like, why can't you use the one you already have? And I was like, <laughs> I the know. school said I needed this one. So I remember on the list. <laughs> in, in middle school, we had these big, um, I don't know if you remember, if the name you guys had, they were called Trapper Keepers. And yeah. Do you remember Trapper Keepers? So they were basically mm -hmm. notebooks that had all the subjects in there and you could set, seal it all up together. I was horrible at that because I'm not that organized. <laughs> I, I'm organized in my mind. It works for me, but I just stuffed every subject in the same pocket. Good for you. So. That doesn't work for me. <laughs>